Hello, everyone. Welcome to Worth Corp Special. Um, one, uh, from last year, once a month, AOA UK will invite astrologers from all around the world and we discuss about what's happening in the world at this moment and also doing a little bit of quick forecasting. But today is a special uh, episode dedicated to Chinese area. This also means include China, Hong Kong and Taiwan. Um, we, we, we usually we will focus on the, the different area, but I think today is pretty interesting because at this moment, uh, China is really under the spotlight. So first, let me introduce our astrologer today. The first I want to introduce is Grace from uh, China and uh, Germany. Uh, hello, Grace. Grace is also our usual speaker for the uh, uh, panelists on the World Scope. Hi, Grace. Hi, hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, I will I will introduce um, some AOE's uh, friends, also usually very uh, familiar with Brian. He's our administrator and also course coordinate. Uh, Brian is from Hong Kong. Hello, Brian. Hello. Hi there. Hi. Hi. And uh, so also I will introduce uh, Celine. Celine is an astrologer in Taiwan, also a um um. You usually write column for magazine, right? Right, for Vogue and for Maria Claire. Oh my God. <laughs> so also, um, we, we all know each other, we are pretty familiar. So, and also our comment is that we usually speak Chinese Mandarin. So we are all worried about today. I said, why are we recording is Mercury Rachel Gray? So somehow when we speak English, sometimes we were just like, oh, how to say that in English or, or, or suddenly have First, out some Chinese Mandarin or even Cantonese. I don't know, but uh, bear with <laughs> us. Just a special episode because at this moment, this is very important. Why this is so important? I think everyone probably already read the news about uh, um, Chinese government decide uh, easy the restriction and the lockdown, and also even more that they've been they've been. Um, uh, closed the border for last three years since COVID. Um, they 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 finally re, uh, decided to open the border, allow the foreigner moving, uh, go going to China for tourist and business. But also they um they decided to allow the uh, their, their, their citizen to traveling abroad. But suddenly this when this news comes out, all all around the world, especially the nearby country like Malaysia. Japan and uh, has a kind of a pretty interesting reaction. This I say, no, we probably have to carry out some uh, at least some you know uh, ask for the certificate or negative test of COVID. And uh, I think Italy and the US <coughs> decide to say they will carry out a test when the Chinese tourists arrive at the airport, which is I think is a huge reaction and. Uh, to be honest, um, when we discuss about this, if you check the winter solstice chart, that is very interesting. So, I mean, let me show you the, the winter solstice chart first. Um, uh, it, sorry, I shouldn't say winter solstice. I should say the Capricorn in Greece, <laughs> because for South Hemisphere, that's not winter. <laughs> okay, let me show the chart. So, as you can see, this is the uh, Capricorn English chart uh, from Beijing. And uh, if you notice that, you will see the uh, <coughs> Neptune is pretty tight on the angle around the icy. Basically, we know the Neptune are usually related to virus and uh, pandemic, especially when there's some, you know, uh, a special meaning, especially at this moment, um, Neptune is conjunct uh, Jupiter and the sextile with uh, Pluto, and also in the in the Capricorn English chart, also uh, sextile Mercury <laughs> and the square the Sun. Then, I think uh, Brian, if I remember, the Hong Kong has a similar similar position, right? Neptune was in a similar position. Yes, but the uh, moon mass opposition is uh, the, the moon and the mass are more uh, they are closer to the uh, ascendant descendant axis. But mm. somehow these three planets are all 
angular. They all mm -hmm. conjunct are angles. Mm. So this is probably probably not just suggest the the spread of a virus or something. I think the moon Mars you could could also <clears> mean <throat> like a people are not really happy. No? Or anxious. Anxious or anxious. Um Grace, do you have do you have you hear about uh, the, the the people from like a, like a, your friend your family how do how do how do they re react toward to this uh, relaxation of the restriction? Mm. Actually, not really. I only see a lot of people uh, post by WeChat said uh, okay they have already got the coronavirus you know. It's only only that, but I remember last time we have already talked about this chart. A lot of things uh, point uh, the nice horse about mm -hmm. uh, on board, and, mm -hmm. and then China suddenly open open suddenly open the door and everything welcome and the, the people can travel around. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's interesting. The yes. sun ruder than my house, yes. and then yes. you're talking about open the border. <laughs> yes, and uh, and uh, and uh, the sun square uh, Jupiter. Mm. And Jupiter, yeah. yeah, Jupiter more like uh, on board. Yes, yes, it's about the foreign, about traveling, about the air traveling. Yeah, foreign travel and the, the long term. Mm, yes, it is very interesting. And there is a certain decision that's like kind of a, suddenly they decide to open the border. I think also we can see the sun was kind of a six key culture Uranus. <laughs> that is kind <laughs> of a suddenly, hey, hey, tomorrow I'm going to visit you. It's just like suddenly open the Pandora box. <laughs> <laughs> now that everyone screaming said no no don't come <laughs> well it is true but grace i think you and i we have a both the same feeling because the once the news comes out and the all around the world start to start a discussion then are they going to do the restriction or not but for the first moment like the uk government and german government i say well you know that's all right. And then come. We are not going to restriction. How, yes. how does how does your German friend feel? Yes, many many Germans uh, said, "Oh, the, the the government is stupid." <laughs> 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 why, 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 why is <laughs> okay, okay, we have a, a very stupid uh, politics. So. <laughs> Well, you can stand, but the last time we planned Boris Johnson, this time I don't know, could we really plan uh, Rishi Sunak? He's just care about anyone going to work in the bank or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the big news at this moment. And uh, I think uh, I think we will see, we wait and see, because, I, well, one thing people are worried about is variants. And so far, well, according to data, we haven't found any variant from China, still the usual one, still usual one. Uh, so, but they say some, some ex -medic medical experts say, um, well, if things come out so quickly and that with a large population get um, um, infected by the virus may cause another virus. I don't know, I'm not a medical expert, but I just say this would be pretty interesting and that we should well you know keep an eye on it um the, so today we were going to focus on this area so i suggest we start from china then so the the important thing for 2023 i think is the um certain move into uh pisces in that i think is the 7th of <laughs> march i think maybe in ages 8th of march Anyway, seven, just like seven, 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 yeah, okay, seven. seventh of March, seven. yes, and then Pluto moving into Aquarius in the twenty third of 23rd. March, twenty mm third. -hmm. So you you know just like a one after another. I think this is kind of a two huge shock wave. You know, 
is kind of shaking our world. Especially, I think in China would be very interesting, right? I think I will, I will, I will give it a chance to to Grace. Should we should we have a quick look in China's chart um, in compare with the increase? So let me show you the China's chart, and I will put the the moment when the um um Saturn moved into Pisces. But the weekend image, we know the Pluto is there. So hello, Grace. So, um, what's your uh, what is your view? This is out out of view. It's Taipei. Uh, yes, it's okay. <laughs> 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 Don't be shocked. I think. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Everything yeah, yeah, yeah. good. Good. <laughs> um. So. So the first, what do you think about the um, Pluto moving into the um, moving into the Aquarius? What kind of impact may you know going to have? Yeah, you know, Pluto more like uh, it's not only control; it's more like something underground. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh, also, more like the bottle. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking about. Uh, uh, because of the China NATO chart, Moon is on uh, ascendant AC. So uh, Moon more uh, it's more like a basic life and uh, food mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. or, or, or farming mm. or people. Yeah, Aquarius more like people. So the, the China uh since uh since. 1949 uh, the people the government uh, said uh, always said okay the people uh, the people first mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> the people first uh, uh, we do everything uh basic on the people mm -hmm. but, it's, it, uh, it, it is very interesting because i this is the point that i like this chart because uh -huh. the China's national chart, China's national chart has a moon and Aquarius on the ascendant, and the name of China is a People Republic of China. So they put people first, the People Republic yeah. of China, and the moon <laughs> on the and in Aquarius is on the ascendant. To be honest, that so many times our colleague, our our um our European colleague, usually say talking about China, they say Republic of China, then I would like wait a second. Oh no, the whole name is People Republic of China, but you know. Doesn't matter, really. I don't really want to correct it. It's just I just smile and say, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry to interrupt you, you Grace. <laughs> so I'm thinking about uh, once Pluto move into Aquarius and touch the Moon, touch the NATO Moon. So mm -hmm. what will happen? Maybe the people get more power, or maybe mm -hmm. the people, uh, it's really going down. Go to the bottom. Mm, wow, that sounds so. It, it, it's really uh, when I think about this, it's it's really a a a little bit scary. <laughs> to to be honest, it is. I mean, I mean, I mean. Well, Pluto. Everyone know Pluto can can you know shake things down and the kind of a kind of a give a very heavy handed into the things that it involves. And when Pluto moving in conjunct the moon, that really will have a huge impact on people's life, uh, especially on Ascendant. Ascendant is a, is a country, you know, Ascendant is a country. Uh, the one thing we can see is, I mean, it could be, it could be large, like, a, like Grace thinking about it. It could be have an impact in the, in the, in the country and the people, people would be really upset and they have to take some, take some extreme action. But yeah. it could be small things because um, I remember when, when the, uh, another example when Pluto come to the ascendant was the uh, 2008, when the Pluto was at 29 degrees Sagittarius, is conjunct Iceland's ascendant. Mm -hmm. And the last year, when the, when, the, when the Pluto approached there, they had the, the they, 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 I think they nationalized all the bank system, whole banks in the front commercial bank, all become national bank, because the, we, 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 we say they, they, they Basically, whole country, you know, bankruptcy, and no one, no one want to, no one want to hold any, any Iceland crown, and then, so, and this country is really depend on import and export. So suddenly they have, 
no money to buy spaghetti <laughs> because it suddenly becomes so expensive. So that could happen to also some have a strong impact in everyone every day's life, right? Yes, yes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? And or 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 Brian, do you have any idea or any any suggestion? Uh, uh, I have a question. Say something. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry, sorry Selling. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, 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 a a chorus. Uh, it's mm -hmm. more like a te te uh, technology. So yes, maybe uh, the government uh, Pluto all, also more like a uh, government. So maybe use uh, they, they they use technology control the people or control the other mm -hmm. country control the world. Hmm. Yeah, I I remember. I think when Pluto, the you know, last couple of years, we're talking about social credit thing. So, so like uh, like everyone has some point. So according to your point, you are allowed to buy the train ticket or airplane ticket. If you don't have enough credit, you couldn't buy tickets. It sounds like that. Maybe that things will really apply to you know everyone's life because we can see. During the restriction and uh, and uh, lockdown, although they don't really say the lockdown, but they use the what health code, right? So if you don't have a health code, you are not allowed to go in out. And they use this the, the health code to control control people's action. Like I heard about in Henan, uh, do uh, I I think it was the uh, the bank bank crisis, but the government in Henan just like using the health code to control people say. Suddenly, everyone turned red. Then the, the, their 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 house coat turned red. They are not allowed to go in out to protest it. That is, you know, I think I think your concern may come true. I, uh, uh, Celine, are you you say you're going to ask some question? Yes. Uh, since this uh, Saturn ingress is under the time period that in the Virgo full mm -hmm. moon, right? Yeah. So ah. the full moon, the moon. Virgo right now is on the top in China's on the top of China's Saturn in yeah. some house. Oh, so yeah. I'm wondering after Rod just said, since they opened the border to invite mm. more uh, to to tourists to come into China, will they need to handle more social affair or international mm. international relationship or anything mm. will happen or any public relationship they need to deal with after they release mm. the border. I'm wondering yeah. about this. That uh, is... Yes, I think you're oh, right. So... Also, the Saturn in Pisces is have a has trying the Chiron in tenth house uh -huh. and also trying with the Uranus in fifth house. Mm. I think that is a good sign for China. Uh -huh. I'm just wondering what it will happen, what they need to do for their public relationship. Oh, so interesting. So, so, so I think, well, that is a, a spot on because they started really, like you say, trying with Uranus and the Cairo. Maybe it, in one way, yes, they, they kind of uh, easy the thing, smooth the thing, smooth the transition. But also help them to a little bit of correct, because the Chiron is correction, to correct yeah. their public image. And then they have yeah. to try very hard because this, uh, this Uranus, this Uranus uh, brings some, you know, shocking. <laughs> yeah. Brian, what, yeah. Do, what do you think? Well, another thing I noticed in this chat <laughs> is that the transit note this yep. um the, the uh, south node right actually semi sets out the natal chiron yep and at the same time the natal chiron actually conjuncts the north node oh, say, natal chiron okay uh, natal i just suddenly couldn't find it <laughs> okay yeah, let, yeah 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 here let yeah. me repeat the transit yeah. south node actually semi sets out the natal chiron right yep and then the transit chiron conjunct the natal node oh mm -hmm. yes indeed the so there is a Chiron node, Chiron node theme there. Um, how do you, how do you see this one? You know, to um somehow Chiron is the symbol of 
diseases. Mm -hmm. And when a planet is conjunct the node, it is like it walks into the global spotlight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think China is going to become the superstar of pandemic this spring. <laughs> <laughs> Going to do what? I I I missed that. Did you say superstar of pandemic? <laughs> oh. I think you 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 pretty maybe right because when <laughs> I, I mean I mean it's not just like Chiron because on on one side there's a Jupiter and in another side there's a Venus. <laughs> I think I probably just trying to say you know we are we are here to help, <laughs> and yeah. the people say help what. <laughs> Yes, less is more. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know because the Venus and the Jupiter is kind of a we are friendly. We are friendly. We open the border. <laughs> hey, come to China. Come to visit us, and we're going to send our people out. But that we start care of you. Just like, uh, uh actually, <laughs> we are not sure about that. Yeah, and, <laughs> and 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 we can see there are a lot of water. Mm -hmm. So yeah, maybe, that's maybe. Uh, yeah, the I've seen prices. Maybe China will say, "Okay, uh, we are uh, in this moment so weak. So please come to help." Uh, <laughs> uh, well, do you do you think do you think Chinese government will say that? Uh, agree that they are weak and we need help. Uh, I think usually <laughs> usually they say no. We don't need your help. We can handle ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. They will say, okay, okay, we will do something good for the world. Yeah, I think that more likely Chinese uh, Chinese government usually say we are doing it for everyone's good <laughs> rather than <laughs> rather than we need help because because apparently uh, I, 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 but because people probably don't know the so far for the uh, vaccine, Chinese government are only permit those vaccine developed from China, right? Um, the, so, so the the other vaccine like a Pfizer or Moderna, those that uh, those vaccines developed from the uh, <laughs> Western world are not permit to use in China, especially for for Chinese citizen. And that is a concern because most people think I don't know I we don't have correct data. Most people think the Chinese med vaccine wasn't that efficient. <laughs> wasn't that wasn't well, was not right uh, wasn't not so <laughs> i don't that? know i don't know is that really efficient so is the, is the people doubt so i mean but chinese government thinking no we are good our vaccine is good you know so everyone should get more vaccine <laughs> yeah, and another thing i just noticed is that if my max is doing correctly yeah the, mm -hmm. the solar art venus should be conjunct moon this or next year. Okay, okay. And so Mars actually is the ruler, not really ruler, but you know, it rules Libra. Uh-huh. And Libra is in the egg house. Yeah, yeah. So I can't I can't say I'm really sure, but I I'll, I'll speculate some events related to egg house. Uh, that is going to happen in late 2022 or early 2023. Oh, sorry, uh, late 2023 or to early 2024. I, I think it's possible because at this moment, Pluto is not just like a one-off move into Aquarius, yeah. but because it's in and out in that area, in and out yeah. in area. So so like a 2023, 2024, that is again, Pluto will move back to Capricorn and moving again in Aquarius. I think they would do that. that Three times, even in 2024, if I'm right, because a summarize is always there. <laughs> and, and if I remember when I when I when I just checked the 2020, oh no, yes, 2024. Yeah, exactly 2024, Pluto will move back to to uh am I right? Yes, in the early 2024, uh, Pluto will move back will, 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 will be in the uh, 29 degree Capricorn and uh by the 21st of January, it will move back to Aquarius. So, I mean, timing wise, you know, timing wise, to, you know, fit what you say. Um, Grace, do you want to add anything? Mm. 
I, I, I remember, I want to see, you know, uh, because there, there, there are a lot of uh, uh, Pisces, a lot of mm -hmm. water. So mm -hmm. I remember uh, Xi in the beginning said uh, human communi com community uh, with a shared future. Yeah. So, so this is what he's going to share with us. <laughs> so I'm thinking about the yeah, Pisces, Pisces. So uh, Pisces, yeah. About maybe they will do something like so. Uh, uh, I don't know, but. Uh, I don't know what will happen. And I, I, I read the news uh, in this moment, China like to develop economy, economy and uh, they like to go back, it's more like go back to 1960s. Uh -huh. The people, the young people go to the farm or go to the village. Oh my they God, are, the, you, are you talking oh, about are you talking so, about the right after Cultural Revolution and that yes. they they send people into the farm, into the countryside? Yeah, go to the countryside. I, so, so you guess that that could happen? So maybe, maybe uh, Pluto conjunct moon, NATO mm. moon. It's more like a farming basic life. Maybe go back, go back to farm. farm. Mm. Maybe, I don't know. But uh, I read the news from BBC or from Twitter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody shared. So. so I'm thinking about this. And then I think about maybe the people get more power. Okay. So people may get more power during this time. And uh, mm -hmm. well, so I I hope people. Uh, but it, it is interesting. What do you think? I I suddenly I was quite surprised when uh, after the they call it the paper revolution, white paper revolution, by Zhi Geming, um, uh, suddenly they decide to ease the all the restriction. Do you think it is the people's voice being heard, or you know, or, or they really? So. I don't think. I don't think so. Okay, <laughs> Sorry, okay. I don't think so. But <laughs> so I, I think, I'm, I'm I think too nice. News, you know, you know, you know. They, they, they really like to play. So they use the Bai Zhi Geming. Yeah. Something. Yeah. The the, the revol paper revolution no, or white paper <laughs> revolution. <laughs> okay. okay. So you think you think you you think she and his government is playing a game. With people, yes, okay. use people, use the people. I uh, use people. Okay, Celine, what do you think? I think <laughs> why they do that just want to increase some income for their government because uh, in certain English chart, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, both uh, Pisces Stadium is in second house. Yeah, and what Brian just mentioned about this uh, nodal axis. Yeah. Conjunct by ah. is also sit on the second house and yes. emphasize mm -hmm. eighth house. So, uh, they I think maybe they just want to increase money so that they can, uh, overcome the COVID issue. Do you mean I I, I if I don't get wrong, are you suggest that they they are allowed people going out so? So increase the economic force, or or do you mean they they want to make all those pharmaceutical company earn more money? I think they want to do both. And they want to do both. Yeah, because also the full moon things, right? It's yeah. also uh, uh, it's health industry, right? Yeah. Ah, yes. So okay. Yes. They use the health industry, the vaccine, to increase money. Right, oh. and uh, they may make more people to get sick. They can. Oh they my can God! Conspiracy! <laughs> conspiracy! Um, conspiracy! Okay, yeah. so they also can increase money. So okay. it is interesting because, um, well, I may be wrong, but uh, I should. We should check the chart. But this could be the. Is this could be this shit? This shit before the, before the. Um, um, March uh, uh, Aries increase probably not. 
but but, but this moon, I mean the the situation that the full moon chart before before the Aries increase or new moon chart before the Aries increase. If this is the chart, if this is the moment that the 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 the, the full moon before the increase, Aries increase chart, that, that could be like you say, you know, the the health issue and the and medicine industry probably really get pretty active, you know. Yeah. I, think, yeah. I think this one is the full moon chart before the Aries ingress. I think it should be the next day. Yeah, it should be or, next day. Yeah, or, yeah. Oh, no, sorry, not next day. Some uh, some minutes one day after, before this right. chart. Some minutes before this chart when okay. the moon is at 16, then that one should be the yeah. full moon yeah. chart before the ingress. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, should we should we change the area moving into Hong Kong, Brian? What happened in Hong Kong at this moment? Well, let me share. Should I share my Oh screen? yes, please. Let, let me let me stop sharing. Yes. Um no, not this one. Oh, oh, oh. my god, Chu Mansi. Chu Mansi. Okay. Not that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, this is Hong Kong's chart, and we use the time 1.30 a.m. instead of 12 because, because of Jupiter's information. <laughs> she said what she is... said the document was signed at 1.30. So actually, I've been using this chart for quite some time, and I think that this chart is really reliable. And for the transits of uh, Saturn or Pluto, in 2023, mm -hmm. I'll say. Sub, what? Um, this one, no, this, the, this one actually is the progress chart, secondary okay, progress. Okay, progress chart, okay. You know, the progress moon is going to change sign. Ah, okay. So, um, of course, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but after it changes sign from Aries to mm -hmm. Taurus, then it will change house. Mm -hmm. So I'll I'll guess that some major changes on citizens' mind or mm -hmm. daily life may happen very soon mm -hmm. after Aries ingress because this the uh, progression chart on mm -hmm. uh twenty first March two to three. Mm -hmm. Hang on. I think this it could be the current this one, right? uh, yeah. this one is the um Aries ingress chart. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. although although the symbol of mass is in Pisces, but actually the degree is in Aries. Okay. And because there are so many planets falling in the first house. Um, there are a few uh, a few events happened these days or this week that that is quite worth noticing. The first one is that, uh, we no longer need to scan any code or mm -hmm. any anything. Yeah. If we want to go go out dining or if you want to go somewhere and our government tells us that we are going to cancel our mask policy. We do okay. not need to wear a mask anymore. That and, sounds good news, isn't um, it? <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but Chinese travelers will come freely starting from the 8th of January. <laughs> Stop, so, think red. So to me, that moon Mars opposition on uh, the ascendant, descendant axis of Hong Kong in the, in the um, winter solstice West chart is yeah, really, yeah. really literal because we are damn anxious. Okay, okay. Yeah, because we, we we really think that we really think that when when our government has put you know such a long time emphasizing that oh our policy is for your good sake we we care for your health 
And when the number of new infections are this high, suddenly they said, okay, you can go anywhere without <laughs> any vaccines and no masks. We're like, what? What? I, I think I think the basically basically you can see from, from Brian's reaction, you can even you can also guess what Chinese people, Chinese citizens' reaction when they hear about what? E e easy all the, all the restriction. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. And the travel the 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 policies on you know traveling abroad are also are also being made easier mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in December. But again, um you know, in that Capricorn Ingress chart, Neptune actually is right at the IC of Hong Kong. Yes, yes. So <laughs> I'm going, I, I'm not I'm not really that optimistic about mm -hmm. the the new policies. Uh -huh. And and this one is actually the the um Aries Ingress chart of Hong Kong. Yeah. And I don't know, but the, the sun and the chart ruler Jupiter are mm -hmm. both in the second house. Yeah. So I would say one of my focus uh, mm -hmm. on Hong Kong in 2023 would be issues related to the second house. So economic, food, economy, livelihood, mm -hmm. or our money reserve, which is mm -hmm. going, you know, going down drastically. Oh. oh, okay. Okay. So so there is a there is a potential that economic um coming down during oh, the spring. I, I think I think the, the money reserve of our government is actually mm -hmm. going down uh, starting mm -hmm. from the outbreak of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't know, but any but basically uh because in this chart, Sun and the chart ruler Jupiter is in the second house. So I'll put my focus on issues related to the second house. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I can't I can't say I can't say that this Saturn is really angular because it is seven degree of mm -hmm. from the ascendant, but yeah, it will, you know, it still will move nearer to this ascendant mm -hmm. so i also i still i still expect a saturnian event uh that mm -hmm. that is causing um major influences on us but mm -hmm. not really in uh, starting from this point or perhaps when the transit saturn moves nearer to eight degree passes mm -hmm. and this one, uh, the, the outer cycle actually is the spring equinox, but I truly like the transits mm -hmm. of that time. Mm -hmm. um, the transit Pluto actually has been right at Hong Kong's Neptune for quite some years. Yes. So uh, the dreams are awakened. You you mean the dreams that we can? You mean the Hong Kong people's? Uh, what is Hong Kong people's no, dreams? So, I don't know, but I don't know if you guys agree or not. But to a lot of Hong Kong people, especially those who are uh, for in their thirties or forties, uh -huh. somehow they are like they are. Oh, you know. Oh, they awakening, awakening. Yeah. Waking from the gym and then they move abroad. Okay, okay, okay. So, so they realize that the Hong Kong is not what they think. Hong Kong is not what they expect. Yes, to be honest. This, yes, yes, yes. Yes, go on, go on, Brian. Yeah, especially this Pluto actually is in opposition to the NATO Mars, and Mars is the chart ruler. Venus, you mean? <laughs> yeah, Venus. Venus, yes, yeah. Venus. Venus chart ruler, yes. Yeah, oh, so okay. I think, yeah. mm -hmm. 
Yeah, or there is a really great transformation that feels like conflicts or struggle um, to Hong Kong to Hong Kong or Hong Kong people. But so anyway. so so coordinate with so what Grace talking about that when when Pluto coming to the China's moon and then here we got Pluto coming to the Hong Kong's uh, ascendant ruler that that is like a pretty thin similar I, I mean there is a similar things you know mm. and uh, the people aware about the threat and the people aware about the crisis and maybe they maybe will get power yeah and another thing i i would say is that i always see the fourth house of hong kong's chart mm -hmm. as our great motherland a great motherland <laughs> 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 Great motherland. So yes, so, so this the Pluto has an impact to the the motherland. <laughs> or the, the influence of Pluto is really related to our great motherland. <laughs> okay, that, <laughs> that sounds like a sounds like a pretty interesting, you know, the yeah, but the, you know the, the dilemma or the conflicts or the different the cultural differences between Hong Kong and China actually has been worsening uh, start, starting from the handover of Hong Kong to China. But in recent years, the conflicts actually are getting worse. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So there especially, is a, yep, go on, yeah. go on. No, especially after 2009, I would say. Yeah, yeah, uh, 2019. So yeah, especially, I heard about that because people are arguing about like, uh, why suddenly, I mean, I mean, in the, this is a sensitive topic for China, for China. But it's like people usually talking about Taiwan independent and people hardly heard about Hong Kong independent. But I think like 2029, you start to hear about people talking about Hong Kong independent or, or calling them a Hong Konger rather than, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of a, there's a, maybe not totally 100% related to independent, but there is like a, a identity awareness. Yes. About and, that. I, yep. and somehow, I think the process of Pluto is kind of like um, polarization. Yeah, yes, exactly. And you know, the, a lot of Hong Kong people are getting polarized because of their political stances yeah and and then uh, to me when this transit brutal moves into aquarius mm -hmm. of course it is still in still in the 10th house of nato in the chart for hong kong yeah <laughs> but as it gets closer to this Uranus, which is ah. at seven degree mm -hmm. Aquarius. Um, the political movements of Hong Kong actually gets really, um, what should I say? What word? Radical. <laughs> Radical. Radical. <or laughs> active. Active. Uh, there was the time. Okay. There was the time. There was the time when. Uh, Transit Uranus and Transit Pluto are in square starting from <clears throat> the mid to O one O's. And mm -hmm. that square actually, if I'm if my memory is correct, but I'm not sure. It okay. should be somehow. Oh, I forgot anyway, but that was the time when when Uranus and Pluto in transits are getting intense, and that was also the moment when the political movements in Hong Kong, um, were getting intense. So I, mm -hmm. when this transit Pluto uh, moves nearer to this, um, uh, little Uranus, of course it is not happening in two or three years, but I'm expecting something when this Pluto is getting close to, uh, yeah, Uranus. Yeah, and that would, when it comes, mm -hmm. yeah, and when it comes to, um, Saturn moving into Pisces, mm.
Are you still there, Brian? <laughs> yeah, I'm still here, but I'm I'm kind of lost. <laughs> I was just like, why are you silent? <laughs> yeah, because I'm kind of lost. Okay. I'm I'm not really sure about this Saturn, but it is going to um Quinkens mm -hmm. Venus Again? our chart ruler. Yeah. Um I would say uh actually the great Chinese government is explaining our law again today. Yes, okay. About the national security law. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, basically that is the but, the kind of a yeah. the, the, the origin of all the argument and the, all the uh, all yeah, the activity. They would, they would like to have a correct interpretation of the law, so they are asking our great mother to help. And <laughs> okay. I think the process may take some time, and I'm not sure if the if the final decision is happening around this spring, but this. Transit Saturn, Quen, uh, Quenkens, NATO, Venus, which is the chart ruler. Yeah. I think yeah. there is some uneasiness uh, related to law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, especially yeah. especially because the 11th house is somehow like, somehow there is council, a sense council those, member. Yeah, or yeah. council member or related to our future. Yeah, or yeah, how yeah. We see our future. Mm. Yeah. Wow, wow, thank you, Brian. So sounds like uh, so so far, although we use two different chart, I mean when 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 we discuss China, China's chart, we talk with the uh, uh we, we use the 1949 um first October chart with the grace, and then from the Hong Kong's view, we talk about the first July 1997 chart, but those the they have somehow related to each other, especially the time wise. Timing wise are coordinate. That that means that uh, things are not immediately going to happen, but in three or four years time, that is uh, something more more radical and more you know more active. So thank you, Brian and um, Celine. So how about Taiwan? Uh, are you, are you, should I should I show your presentation? Please or, show, please show the uh, Saturn ingress chart. Okay, only. Uh, in, in, um, including first. in your slides, right? No, no, okay. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. Okay, my my you my just, chart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, use your solar fire for okay. type A, please. Okay. Sorry about that. Especially sorry for uh, <laughs> uh sorry no, for no. the grace. <laughs> yes, because they say, oh, that's type A. Yes, I'm too lazy to correct oh. it. <laughs> yes, here we are. Yeah, that's in Thai. That's the Taipei, uh, Taipei Saturn yeah. ingress chart. Yeah. yeah. And uh, from this chart, we can see Saturn is in fourth house. But during this time, it's like what I just said, it's under the full moon, it's mm -hmm. in uh, fifth house and the uh, 11th house. And mm -hmm. then uh, during this time, Jupiter is conjunct with Chiron in sixth house. Mm -hmm. That's in Aries. So mm -hmm. I think that's a bit <laughs> relative with the COVID issue. Mm -hmm. uh, I just say that in briefly, then when we compare with Taipei's chart or Taiwan's mm -hmm. chart, maybe we can talk about that more. Mm -hmm. But here we can see the sun and the moon have, uh, has six tile or trying the Uranus in seventh house. Mm -hmm, so yeah. for me, I, I see this in the soft aspect. Mm -hmm. uh, I have two things. One is kind of entertainment news. For okay. Listeners. And also I could also talk about something re re related with what our president Tai just doing mm -hmm. okay. lately. So uh, what just mentioned about this chart, there's some mm -hmm. key aspects, then mm -hmm. please come to my slides. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Here we are. Thanks for Celine doing these slides. Are very interesting. So here we are. Last one, please. 
So that's what just said, the full moon with the sun and the moon, but that is in the sixth house. So it's kind of re-emphasized that uh, Jupiter and the Chiron conjunction, in, but it's go to the seventh house right now, right? And mm -hmm. um, uh, so that the, the first part I just mentioned, the, then when it by will with Taiwan, the Saturn is actually conjunct with Chiron. So mm. there's a to emphasize about the Chiron issue. So mm -hmm. Chiron could be like what Rod said, it's a correction. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, I, I think it's related with COVID things. Mm -hmm. Things not only what, when you get COVID, but also what happened after you have the vaccine and mm -hmm. what will you do? after you recover, that's a post COVID time. Because based on my personal experience, I think it's really a long fighting for this COVID. It's not only that few day when you got sick, mm -hmm. you need to try to get recovered. But after that, there's still a lot of things to do. My cat is coming, so I no, was... So I know say hello. <laughs> So I, okay, anyway, and uh, and uh, uh, since the Saturn square with Taiwan's Jupiter and uh, Venus and uh, Mars, that's in the mm. second house and the eighth house. So yeah. I think the sec sec second house and uh, eighth house axis is emphasized. And also Uranus is conjunct with the moon. That is what it's the big news from for lately. Mm -hmm. So should we have a look the softer news first for the oh, yeah. last it's one? A, you mean the last, last one. one? The last <laughs> one. Yeah, this one. I think maybe people will know about this news. Okay. Uh, it's also related with the Saturn ingress because uh -huh. that time Sun and the Neptune is in fifth house, is related yeah. with entertainment, right? Mm -hmm. But this has just happened, I think that's in 23rd, a few days ago, after Jupiter enter as Aries and the Mars in Gemini. And yeah. what happened is these two person, they are a twin. They okay. are a chair for the... Christian group, I don't know, Christian or uh, I think I think it was more like uh, um, a Protestant church, uh, more like uh, yeah, I think I, I I forget exact the word they they use, but it's more not not the Roman Catholic, but it's the priest priest yeah, from the from from the from the from the church, yes. Okay, so the incident start with this woman in the middle. Mm -hmm. She's an actress, but she was participant with a show they are producing. And then in the middle of the, the show, they replace her since mm -hmm. uh, they say her private life is not good, not good influence for the show. So really pre re replace her. But what happened to this girl is uh, she got domestic violence, but mm -hmm. they stand for the men not spent for her. And okay. then, they okay. So I think that will be also will extend that issue into Jupiter and uh, Taurus because it's your, and also North Node and uh, South Node moving to Libra. Uh, Libra, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. because we will have to talk about the marriage, mm. marriage uh, right, mm. because she is the sufferer, she is the victim, but mm -hmm. she got a plan. Mm -hmm. So because it's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. These uh, uh, these uh, these twin, these twins, are both become yeah. priests, and they 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 used to be actors. They used to be actors, and then then they become priests, and then they kind of uh, host the church in the circle in the circle right. you know somehow it's a it's like uh, all the people who are all all the all the um all the christian who working on the tv or entertainment area are joining their church 
Yeah. Um, so they kind of dominate. They have that dominative power uh, to yeah. control everyone. Like, uh, okay, I don't want you in the show, so they kick these ladies out. For me, that pretty scary. To be honest, when I when I heard that story, it was just a right around the Jupiter moving into Aries. And you're right. right. I think that is a really Jupiter religious issue. And then right. when I say when I realize when I realize as you say. Started moving into Pisces, so this could be bigger than that because uh, Pisces could be Pisces uh, at least Pisces is a symbol of a Christianity. Mm. And when started move that, I think this is not just in Taiwan; could be all around the world, especially yeah. focused on Christianity because the two fish and the five cookie or five what Brian? What, what's that five something? I don't know. Two fish. I know two fish is. Is a pretty important symbol of Christianity. So, so this is and very found, interesting. You mentioned about this story. Yep. Yeah, I just I found it very fascinating because they are twin Mars in twin. They are. Oh uh, yeah, Mars. Yes. <laughs> it's in retrograde, but and these yeah. things came out, and then they have to watch what they just done. Like what you say, they are actually control everything behind yeah. the scene, and then it's yeah. like a brutal right now it's mm -hmm. in Taiwan's chart it's in fourth yeah. house and mm -hmm. then it's conjunct with the runners mm -hmm. in Taiwan's run you you can go back to uh three pages and you can this one <laughs> yeah. Are we? yeah so, so so what we just uh what we just said the Pluto is conjunct with the runners in fourth house mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so maybe all this on the table the authority uh -huh. They uh -huh. need to have something to deal with. And then the Saturn Pisces in fifth house mm -hmm. with this Chiron conjunction, they also mm -hmm. need to reorganize when you use the, you are helping people, but actually mm -hmm. you are controlling people. Ah. What, 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 what will go, what will they do for the next? And then when the when Pluto into Aquarius, every uh, planet there's a five planets in the Aries mm -hmm. right now, but all mm -hmm. in seventh house. So that's why mm -hmm. I mentioned about the marriage right. And mm -hmm. then we need to uh, fight for our right, our fight for our stance. Maybe mm -hmm. why I say we it's focus on women because. Uh -huh. um, the uh, Uranus, the transit Uranus is conjunct with the moon right now mm -hmm, in yes. house. Yeah. So for the moon also represent for the woman and the uh, Venus coming along. Mm -hmm. The Venus, uh, transit Venus is coming along to this three planets in the eighth mm -hmm. house. So mm -hmm. not only the moon is represent the woman, but also the Venus purpose represent the woman as well. Mm -hmm. In eighth house so uh i think uh saturn ingress pluto ingress they in compare with taiwan they're mainly focus on fourth house eighth house mm -hmm. and then also seventh house mm -hmm. along the way mm -hmm. uh, that's a soft aspect because mm -hmm. and also uh the saturn when it conjunct when you end uh when you enter Pisces that's also square uh, Venus Jupiter mm -hmm. in second house mm -hmm. and then square with the Mars in eighth house mm -hmm. so that is the thing we need to deal with mm -hmm. it mm, sounds like uh, also also yeah. second house and the eighth house could be related to economy and the foreign exchange but also maybe like a food you know food food issue resource Mm. But late lately, for for what what my research is mm -hmm. the uh since the Uranus conjunct with the moon, and mm -hmm. then we just had a nine in one election. So yes. that but uh, people accusing President Ma as the woman, the first woman president, mm -hmm. and then they uh, and she resigned after the 
election didn't mm-hmm. went well for DPP. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the kind of she is resigning or give it, uh, she's uh, not in control. And mm-hmm. the also say she is the one to um, in later okay. news. Yeah. Is that so, your second next slide? Or I think it will be the second, the next slide. This one. But, yeah, because uh, when she resigned, uh, the Pluto enter Aquarius mm-hmm. and also Saturn enter Pisces. It also is a kind of a sh- uh, transaction. So mm-hmm. we also can see the re- regime change from mm-hmm. 2000. 2000 to 2016 and then yeah. in next year 2024 mm-hmm. we will have a, another president election yeah. so since in this nine in one election uh try dpp only got fourth seat mm. out of 22nd mm. and then amt the blue mm-hmm. party they mm-hmm. got 14 seats. So let me, so let me let me add a little bit, sorry. The DDP is usually more considered as a pro, pro Taiwan yes. independent, and yeah. then, the, then the KMT nationalism, they are usually pro unified with China, right? Right. Yeah. And then this graphic is really clear, demonst- demonstrate that in 2014, when DPP, the Green Party, they won the election, mm-hmm. they got mm-hmm. so many seats. The, the, the seat means the, the county or the mm-hmm. yeah the county. They got so many seats in green. And then eight years or, or how many years later? Uh, I 22, think 18, eight years. Yeah. Eight years yeah. later, right? Eight year, yeah. Uh, yeah, in, now in tw- 2022, they all uh, become blue parties. Mm-hmm. So that is what President Tsai lost. And the reason why she lost, because they used the slogan like, uh, we are protecting China, we are protecting Tai, tai uh, uh, resist China, protecting uh-huh. Uh, Taiwan, but this mm-hmm. slogan is no longer valid because mm-hmm. they don't want to fight. They don't want to. Ah. People don't want war. They want peace. Uh-huh. So that's um that that is very interesting thing when they when she still uses this that slogan, but people are not buying. Oh, interesting, in interesting. That like in one election. So it shows in this graphic. So mm-hmm. people are back to the KMT. Uh, mm. Yeah. So wow. since uh, President Tsai resigned, and then mm-hmm. they will have a new election in mm-hmm. next year, early January. And then uh, you uh, will- when you say when you say the resign, I think it should resign from party president, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah party's yeah. leader, uh, not, uh, not not country's leader. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They should yeah. resign for the uh, I I they, they, that's why I need the slide because they will uh they will say more than what I just said because yeah. this is they were she's no longer the chairwoman for DPP. Okay, yeah. And then in next year they will elect a new one. But it will go back to the male. Uh, ah, male leader. Male, male leader. leader. Yeah, yeah. More likely, then, yes. Right. And then what she just, uh, two policies she announced this day. Mm-hmm. One is that will, she will extend the military service for one more year. Mm-hmm. And then the second one is she will return the tax to the people because they are charged more before. Uh-huh. It's okay. This, these two things kind of relate with the eighth house and the, uh, is the Mars in the eighth house. That was so your which chart should we look? Uh, back to each one. Both okay, because the Mars in mm-hmm. eighth house, the mm-hmm. military service extend, mm-hmm. and then the yep. eighth house because they charge more tax from people. Mm-hmm. Now they are willing to return that to people. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. 
I think it's emphasized for the eighth house. Mm. But it is very interesting, according to what you say, that uh, um, that during the election, it shows people um, totally, uh, it's a big part of people are against this kind of idea to, you know, um, 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 against China or or some people just like, no, we don't like this. We want a little bit more peaceful, peaceful action or or we don't really to do against with China. And that is trying to change the, change the election, change the election. Maybe, maybe the government will listening and then, you know, maybe, but what I suggest is like, they probably should do what she does. Oh, you want this? Okay, I totally open the border that they need. <laughs> and people will, will aware about, oh yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you, Celine and uh, Brian and uh, um, Grace. It's so interesting. I mean, I mean, we usually don't, don't do this, especially when I'm in UK and uh, usually we, we do the live stream on the YouTube and uh, and but that for the Asian area, especially in Taiwan and Hong Kong, would be something like a three or four o'clock in the morning. That's why we usually don't have an Asian Asian astrologer, so, uh, or or like Australian astrologer, because that would be like midnight for them. Um, but this this is very interesting. I think I mean from this year, maybe I should consider about you know maybe once a uh, once a three months that uh, we should have like, this kind of uh, you know interesting review from. From, from Asia area or, or Asia Pacific area. That would be quite interesting to see different things. But thank you today. Thank you, Celine. Thank you, Grace. And uh, thank you, Brian. It's so interesting to, to speak English all the way because usually we speak Mandarin or Hong Kong. Well, well not don't speak Hong Kong, but it's the first, speak Chinese the, Mandarin. Yep. Yeah, that's the first tag for the Mercury retrograde. Yeah, we, we need always. To our English. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we are fine. I think we're doing fine, to be honest. Well, thanks yeah. everyone to watch the um, World Scope special episode for the, you know, we focus on Chinese area. And uh, next month we'll back to normal and uh, we will have our uh, World Scope panelists come back. Uh, we will have uh, Luisa and uh, Fernando and uh, uh, Maria and Anna and uh, Lian. So, and also tomorrow. Tomorrow would be uh, pretty important because tomorrow Alejo will host will have a his a webinar uh, Pluto in Aquarius with um, Darby Costello. So please, if you haven't registered, please send us an email and Brian and I will help you. I will help you to uh, to, to register this uh, this webinar. And it will be so interesting because it is quite crucial this year when Pluto and the Saturn both are changing sign. And I think it will, their, their webinar will help us understand um, how can we prepare ourselves for this a huge shift? Okay, thanks everyone. I will see you thank next you. month. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.